Well, evening, morning, good afternoon, global population, Sam Fisher here. Say hello, Will. Do you like Ben 10? <laughs> Do you like Ben 10? Do you know what Ben 10 is? Yeah, well. Anyway. Dad? Lots to get through, so let's get through it. Right. We're almost at a point and just subscribers. Yeah. Will says, <laughs> get us to 400 sub subscribers by the end of the year. That's what he's saying. Do it for him. Yeah? Go yeah. for me. Go for you. <laughs> right. I can see the moon. Right, I can see the moon. Anyway, there's a lot to cover. So we'll, uh, we'll get through it. I've just found out today, well, first of all, the whole um, Kanye West situation. Everyone's done that to death. Um, it's not something I'm really bothered about commenting on because if you follow my telegram, or if you followed me for a while, you know exactly what my views are on what he's been all about, what he's been saying. And I've said that to death. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then um, are you alright? If you don't know what I'm talking about, then uh, I recommend watching my my videos on the system. I'll put a link in the description below. It'll all be explained there. Anyway, what I'm going to talk about, first of all, is that um, I've done yet another podcast with uh, with Matty, Matt Moore on tour, um, which is now up on his channel. Again, I'll link that below. Got a pretty interesting chat. <laughs> It's part two of the one that we did last time, right? So it was done quite a while ago, but still pretty relevant to now. Um, also, <laughs> now this is this is really truly amazing. What you're going to see in a minute is some footage from uh, a news channel called DW. About something that's happened in Germany. I'll just play you the clip and then we'll talk about it. Overnight raids across Germany over a plot to overthrow the state by force. Some 3,000 police officers were involved in searches of more than 130 properties nationwide. Authorities believe the suspects are linked to a nationwide far-right network. Among them are several former members of the armed forces and at least one active soldier. From on this uh, fast-moving story, let's bring in DW's political correspondent, Julia Saudeli. Julia, what more can you tell us about these raids and about the suspects that have been detained? Yeah, this was a very big operation that took place in uh, 11 of Germany's states, but also uh, two people were arrested abroad, one in Italy, one in Austria. Seeing that 25 people have been arrested, seven uh, suspects in the case suspected of also being part of this uh, what is being called a terrorist network and it is uh, assumed that this is one of the biggest uh, anti-terror operations in Germany uh, since World War II. Uh, the uh, accused and the suspects uh, are seen to have been part of a uh, terrorist network that was seeking uh, to overthrow uh, the democratic order in uh, Germany and uh, uh, the center of this network seems to be um, uh, an entrepreneur from uh, the city of Frankfurt in Germany who calls himself a uh, prince, although it is only a symbolic uh, title, but he owns a hunting lodge in Thuringia and he seems to have been the man that was uh, coordinating this network and part of the network was uh, apparently also a former uh, member of the German parliament for the far-right AFD party who is currently uh, an active judge 
in the city of Berlin, uh, but also uh, members of uh, the German army and one member of the German special forces. Now, the suspects apparently had a plan to overthrow the German government by force. How realistic are these or were these threats? Well, the network seems to have formed uh, at the latest in uh, November 2021. So last year, uh, a tip came from the intelligence services in the state of Hessen, especially regarding uh, this uh, Prince Heinrich, as he is called. And uh, it uh, seemed like this network was actively working to uh, form almost like a shadow cabinet and to arm itself to carry out an armed attack against the Bundestag, the German parliament, and uh, actively arrest politicians and then therefore bring about a change in the uh, government order of, of Germany, basically carrying out a coup. And uh, the group wanted to uh, change the, uh, the government of Germany, take power with the support of uh, the Russian Federation. Uh, the um, prosecution has said that the uh, members of the network had already tried to get in touch with the representatives of Russia here in Germany to try to facilitate this process. So we are talking of plans to carry out a coup here. Now, the suspects are alleged members of the so-called Reichsbürger scene. Tell us more about that movement. Yeah, Reichsbürger means a uh, citizen of the Reich, of the German Empire. And this is a group of people who believe that the current democratic order in Germany is illegitimate, that the uh, democratic order that was established after the end of World War II is illegitimate and that the actual form of government that should still uh, be in place in Germany is that of uh, the German Empire. And they have often conflicts with authorities, they refuse to pay taxes, and uh, 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 estimates are that around uh, 21,000 uh, people are a member, are members of this network. They have gotten closer to the anti-coronavirus protest movements that took place in the last few years, uh, taking over these protests, but also merging with uh, the conspiracy theorists that are also part of this movement. And they are also somewhat close to the QAnon movement that uh, is uh, quite uh, significant, especially uh, online. And, and it is uh, a movement that has been also watched by authorities and police forces here in Germany. Our political correspondent, Julia Sardelli there. Thank you, Julia. Right, whoa, how was that there? Eh? Yeah, it would seem that someone's tried to enact a coup, or was planning on uh, doing a coup with the German government, what? Or break the internet. <laughs> well, yeah, it may, may break the internet. But this, um, this group of people, <laughs> This group of German people across multiple states were all raided today by 3,000 police for roughly at the moment 25 people. Only 3,000 police for 25 people, but anyway, some of them were ex army, some of them ex special forces. One of them, um, they kept saying, it keeps calling it, like saying he's the prince without any sort of validity. But you see, that at one time Germany did have a royal family until. Uh, Hitler disbanded it and uh, absorbed them into. Well, no, no, he disbanded it. We were waiting for them, but he absorbed them into the Nazi Party and gave them certain titles and certain provinces to look after, a bit like governors, but hereditary governors. Anyway, <coughs> so yeah, there's uh, that guy. And they're being linked to everything from the AFD, which is a, they say far right party, but they're not exactly far right. <laughs> but uh, the AFD, um, QAnon, the anti vax the anti vaccine, anti COVID movement, you name it, everything that the German government hates. They're in it. Even Russia, right? Russian involvement, apparently. Russia. Uh, they basically covered all bases with this. Now. Whether this was a, a real life, bona fide, actual sort of ready to go coup attempt, it's a matter of opinion. No I one's a challenge. You saw a dog. You saw a dog, so yeah. But 
it's a matter of opinion um, whether they were actually serious or not. I get a sneaking suspicion they may have been. But the thing is, what do the German government expect? Yeah? You can only push people so far before something like that becomes an option. It means that you push things way too far. It also gives them the excuse to clamp down on everything that they don't find acceptable, like the aforementioned movement. So you can guarantee that there's going to be um, curtails on speech about, uh, involving anything to do with that. Which, to be fair, the German people will likely just roll over and accept. Some of them, obviously, not all of them, but quite, quite a chunk. The thing is, this very likely, the state of Europe at the minute isn't going to be an isolated incident, I don't think, or isolated just to Germany. I have a very sort of a very strong gut feeling that there are very likely people in most European nations all thinking this, right. all thinking of doing this. Now, I'm not promoting action like that in any kind of way, but you can already see the sort of the pieces falling together. And I dare say it's likely many of the governments of Europe are seeing the writing on the wall too. <gasps> that this is basically a step way too far. These governments need to either reverse course or step down if they want to avoid this. And it pains me to say I don't see them doing that. The two under WEF control, all the European governments are, they're all under the World Economic Forum's banner, all pushing for the same agenda, all thinking we're just going to roll over and take it. And that today, especially with the way the Germans are, that just shows that it's, they are pushing things too far. The thing is, this is what they want. They can't bring in a new system without bringing the other one down. And they can't bring it down for us. They need us to bring it down for them. Because we won't accept their solution to all the chaos otherwise. This story could very well just be planned and that's the scariest part. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, you know the drill, see you later.